Hello everybody, um, just here to uh, provide a running commentary now over the, um, <clears throat> my time with the Forza Horizon demo that's just been released. So just here now, booting it up. I uh, just want to say that um, I am a uh, experienced Forza player. I've um, been playing the Forza, uh, Forza Motorsport series since uh, the third one came out. Uh, loved that one, uh, loved the fourth one. I'm really looking forward to this one, despite the new direction it's taken, which I'm excited about because I see this as a replacement for uh, Test Drive Unlimited 2, which I thought was an awful game that really sucked. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much my replacement for Test Drive Unlimited 2. So, just going through the intros here. Everything looking very nice already. So, I was just sitting here now um, watching it. And the thing that annoyed me about this, th this intro here, there's a song in the background. I've heard the song before. I can't think what game I've heard it in. Uh, sitting here trying to figure out where I might have possibly heard the song, but I, I just could work it out. I think it might be Blair, but right now I still don't know. So yeah, quite surprised actually. This is all made up from um, uh, real life footage. I thought there would be some game footage in there, but uh, apparently there isn't. So uh, lots of fireworks. From what I can understand though, I think it's a music festival of sorts. This 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 does sort of feel very need for speed right now. <laughs> ah, so here we are. Just um taking the controls, they're largely unchanged. I think the only thing that's changed is the change view button, which is white bumper. I uh, can't remember what it is in Forza 4 now. Might be the same, I don't know. I think it was. I think they've changed it now for Horizon, but uh, I'm not too sure. And this is where the game completely went downhill for me, was the radio, ho was the radio host. Uh, oh, apart from Grand Theft Auto, no game has ever actually pulled off a um, decent uh, radio host. They're all so annoying. They really are. So I was quite excited now, seeing my Dodge Viper here, getting ready to race. Well, I think, well, I say getting ready to race, I didn't know what we were doing at the time. But uh, obviously I've pre-recorded this, and now I'm talking over it. So just listen to the host, and we see the guy go past. And of course, I was thrown straight in the game. Um, right away, I was not impressed with the physics. Um, they felt much different to Forza 4, which I know because it's a different sort of game, but I just didn't feel, the physics just, just didn't feel tight and comfortable as they used to. So I thought I'd try to cop if you crashed right into a car right away, look. And I accidentally crashed into this guy, I was trying to beat him. I <laughs> could be lost control, did what I was doing, crashed through there. This is, you know, this is all new to me, I was trying to take it all in. Um, so I thought I'd best go back to the chase cam because frankly, cockpit was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> So just uh, going through now, and I was looking at the map here, thinking, right, there's a corner coming up. So you cut the last one. So I thought I better cut this one. And of course, what actually ends up happening is that I end up crashing into him. And I thought nuts to it, just spin him out, get him out the way. There we go. Shoot the first, take the win. Very nice. And right here, uh, oh my goodness, the menus look like, they're, like they've been ripped directly from Dirt 2. They do look identical to Dirt 2, pretty much. Now, this is where I was getting pretty excited now, the uh, the prospect of an off-road race. I mean, I, I love rally games and stuff like that. I was excited about buying a new car until I saw that the only car I could actually have was the Mitsubishi Lancer. Really bummed out about that. I would have liked another car to play with. So I thought, well, put it on the dirt. Let's put it in white to get it really muddy and stuff. White's probably the best color to show off uh, cars getting dirty and things like that. So yeah, pretty bummed out at the moment that um, I only had the the Lancer the, the Lancer Evo 10 to play with. And then this is where I got really even more annoyed because there's a Lancia Delta there and a Delta S4. I don't think I've ever seen a racing game with the road version of the Delta S4. All of them seem to have the uh, the valley version of the Delta S4. So um, just listening you know, to the uh, to the woman, and I was just 
you know, um, check the controls, get anything to how I want it for my own comfort, like I did in a, a Forza 4. This is where I got confused about units, English or metric. I don't know the difference, but I just kept it on the default. So, uh, playing with the audio. So, uh, good difficulty, I thought I put the exact same sentence I did in the previous Forza games, which is to have no assists and have manual gears and have me operate the clutch. Because I thought maybe this is why the physics felt a bit funny for me, because they were. Um, the, I had the assists on and stuff like that, so I thought I'd turn everything off. Keep the opponent difficulty on medium, they weren't too hard. Just checking, just checking the controls now to see where the clutch is and everything. So I just felt happy about that, I was felt ready to race. So my first race. Here we go. I was happy to see the Peugeot 205 T16 there and the Audi Quattro uh, straight ahead. And yep, yeah, I'm adapting well now. Um, Right away, I thought I thought the physics on the dirt. Um, I was I found mixed feelings. I thought it felt nice, but I thought it, they felt a bit difficult. Um, I didn't seem as free. Oh, I'm having a crash here. I didn't seem as free to pull off drifts or anything like that. I felt while I was driving, but we'll we'll get to that a bit further. So just trying out the cockpit view now. And I, this, this felt really immersive. This really sucked me right in. I thought it was brilliant driving from the cockpit view. But what I want to ask is that you can see up ahead is that you can see a Ford F-150 Raptor. In what world is a Ford Raptor competitive against a Lancia Delta and an Audi Quattro? <laughs> oh, I don't know. And I believe that's a Scion TC in front of me as well. Um, I'm beginning to wonder if you can take any car on these uh, off-road events, um, or whether or not it's just restricted to a certain um, class, uh, to a certain um, certain cars. Uh, not too sure, didn't really get an answer out of it from the demo. So I was catching up now with the two Lancias. The red one, the Delta S4 being able to look out for, or was, I just passed it quite easily. Um, I think it's because I had the difficulty on the AI a bit low. So I thought here now I'd really try out the physics, and I was quite surprised actually how I found it quite hard to pull off dirt, uh, to do drifts on the dirt. Um, I found it quite easy to pull off drifts on the uh, tarmac on Forza 4, so I thought that seeing here that we're on the dirt, it'd be quite easy, but no. Um, I actually found it quite difficult, and it even more the assists on the, you know, the the, um, the dirt physics felt all right, but I did, still didn't feel too comfortable. Well, I thought, well, I'm down on the dirt, everything's gonna feel different. I thought, just give it, just give it a chance, you know. I, I was gonna ignore the dirt, the dirt physics. Um, I saw no evidence of the car getting dirty, but um, as you can see, there's a bit of cosmetic damage here where I knocked the Audi at the start of the race. So uh, plod along quite happily here, comfortable in first place. Nice uh, straight road here. Uh, felt comfortable using the clutch and manual gears. Felt really comfortable, um, settling quite well. Um, not purposely hitting signs here, they just haven't moved away. Now when I got onto the road, uh, obviously the physics changed to adapt to the tarmac and stuff. Uh, I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't like the physics. They they, they don't feel comfortable. Um, they feel really loose. Um, they don't feel as tight as they did in Forza 4. Uh, they do feel a lot. They do feel dumbed down quite a lot. Which I know they've had to do it because of the type of game that Forza Horizon is. But I'm not too happy with them. I'm sure I'll adapt to them and get used to them. But they, they just didn't feel comfortable. They didn't feel tight. Hmm. So as you can see, uh, in the PI index, I didn't have the best car, but uh, there we go, driver difficulty in assist bonus 100% for the race basic about assists on, so just reading this here, about this um, bonus I'm going to get when I get the full game, and I am going to get the full game, I'm going to get the limited Kletz edition, uh, definitely cannot pass this game up. So here it's challenging someone, uh, me to challenge someone off my friends list, um, I wasn't interested, I just wanted to get on with playing the rest of the demo. But the menus, all I've seen from the menus is that they are directly ripped from Dirt 2. They look pretty much identical almost. So I said no thanks, I just wanted to get on with the rest of the game. And this is where I find out that you could uh, change the radio stations um, just by this, by about different types of music. And here's the map. So we're being spoken to now about the map. 
So uh, just trying things out. Now, I wasn't sure how to. Uh, I was. I was just getting used to this. I thought the the base for the trophy was uh, where we had to go. I'm telling you, that was the base we just done. So I thought, what's this? Discount sign ninety nine. Uh, I was pressing A on these little on the, the discount sign, and it wouldn't let me exit the map. So I thought, right, well, they obviously thought the game is forcing me to uh, go to this event, which is Mustang versus Mustang, which really piqued my curiosity. So here we are. And I keep stalling the car off the line. <laughs> so uh, just playing around here. Um, just checking out the menus now. Yeah, I was trying to pull the car off the line. I just kept stalling it. Uh, not operating the clutch properly. And the music was loud, too loud for me, so I thought I'd turn that down. I want to hear the car a bit more. Um, still playing around with the settings, making sure everything's okay. So I felt comfortable and, yep, stalled the car again. And then all of a sudden, where did all these cars come from? <laughs> they just came out of nowhere. But um, I'm not too sure what the function of the AI drivers um, is in the demo. They, they, seem to, they didn't seem to have no function. I'm sure that in the full game you'll be able to challenge them on the spot. But here, um, I couldn't seem to find anything. I couldn't seem to do anything with them. As you will see now, because uh, got as you can see on the map, uh, the GPS is telling me to turn left up the road. And just in the distance, there's a Ford Raptor uh, that was driving around. So I thought, right, uh, what if I can interact with it? So I thought I'd follow it round. And I was pressing the activate button, which is the back button in my case. Uh, even checking the controls. Seeing that the back button here is the activate button. Uh, it's going along, and I was pressing it. So I thought maybe, maybe I'm not close enough, so I tried to get close to him. Pressing the button, nothing happens. All of a sudden, flash! I thought, oh, hang on, am I challenging him now? And no, I get spoken about these um, speed cameras just placed around the map. But then, what happens is, once this little piece here... It's gone! The Ford vanished! So I didn't really care about getting beaten or anything. Um, even coming for a year now, I still don't beat my friend. Um, I didn't really care about that. I just thought, right, let's go to the event. I thought, oh, hang on, there's a dirt road. Why don't I take that to get to the event? And I got up. So I'm having a nice bit of fun here along the dirt road until I realised that, oh, wait, actually, no, I can't get to the event on this road. And of course the GPS is having a go at me, telling me to turn around. So I thought, right, let's do this properly, let's, let's do a proper handbrake turn. And I completely cock it up, stole the car, hit the barrier. <laughs> and yeah, stole in the car again. Yeah, completely mess up. Uh, getting used to physics is something that's going to be quite a task for me, I think. I can definitely uh, see I got my work cut out for me. And oh, look at that, right, head on into another car. I didn't see that one coming at all. And then I uh, can have a look now at the damage of my car. Look at that. Oh, damage. Uh, yeah, the damage seems the same as a 4 to 4. Um, I'd like to see the car getting dirty to drive on the dirt roads and stuff. Uh, I'm sure that in free roam, yeah, you can drive any car on the dirt roads. Oh, I just want to say, yeah, I tried to do another handbrake turn. Completely cocked it up, stalled the car. Um, yeah, I would like. I'm sure that maybe in the full game that you could probably drive any kind of dirt road but yeah I'll be curious to see if you can drive any car on the off-road races I think the off-road races are a welcome addition to Forza um, so yeah I'm playing with the radio and oh the, the controls for the radio are awful um, you control it press, pressing left and right on the d-pad and oh you you seem to um, Oh, it's so sluggish. You seem to press the button a million times before you actually change the radio. Really slow controls, that is. Um, so I was happy to see I'll be driving a Mustang. I love muscle cars like any guy. Uh, so I was really excited about this. Um, I have not been um, looking at the car list on uh, Forza, I will say. I want to keep it all a uh, surprise, you know, don't want to spoil anything. So I was happy that I was going to get to drive this Mustang. And I thought that because it said Mustang versus Mustang, I'd be racing against another car. But no, I'd only be driving right, uh, against this plane. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, uh, listen to the voice over you. Now, I tried, now what I tried to do here, uh, you're going to laugh at this now. So the event is starting now. Three, two, one. I thought, climb on over the, the two men there. Uh, no, crash into an invisible wall. <laughs> Didn't let you do it. So, right, so I better restart that. The plane's got a head start on me now. Yeah, 
Now this is where the physics for me were at, the, at their worst. Um, naturally, of course, muscle cars, uh, they do not have brilliant handling, they're quite heavy and sluggish. Here, uh, the car felt really light, uh, felt really easy to get around the corners, even at top speeds I felt like I could get around the corners, no problem at all. Being in my mind that I still got all the assists off, I thought I was getting around the corners, no problem at all. Uh, yeah, this is this is why I really got annoyed with the physics, they were too dumbed down for me. Now, I know that Forza was trying to reach a, la a larger audience, but for established Forza players like me, you know, I do miss the... Um, I do miss the tight handling. This from this just this, this felt really too easy. I mean, fresh, you know, I'm drift uh, drifting, yeah, drifting this time. I felt um, but the drifting this time was much easier to pull off than the uh, Lancer on the dirt road. But no, I was just thinking this is just is too easy. I mean, I'm driving a muscle car here, and you know, I'm purposely drifting here. But you could see previously in the cockpit view, I was having no problems getting around the um, get, getting around the turns there. I mean, my ear look. I mean, I know it's quite a wide turn, but the car felt um, really loose. Um, it felt more as if the game was driving the car for me. I mean, here I, I messed up a little bit, um, but yeah, it just felt like that. You know, even in the muscle car, it just felt like I was going to get around every turn. Uh, it just there was no difficulty in the handling at all. I'm really not happy with this this, this numb down handling. But I mean, I appreciate they've had to do it because the type of game it is, and they're reaching out to a larger audience. Um, yeah, I just got to make do with what 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 um what we got really. So back to so the back of the cockpit. I'm experimenting, but experimenting with both views. Um, I think I'm probably going to be better off with the um with the chase cam. I seem to do a lot better in that. Um, thinking you know I'm doing quite bad because through most of the checkpoints so far the plane has been ahead. So another drift, just about managed to save it and as a result of that the plane is uh, more than a second ahead of me now, that isn't very good. Still driving the logs, it's quite a long race I've got to say, I think this will be a very nice race with, uh, a with uh, AI drivers. So yeah, I kind of sort of lost control of the car there. Um, and tent another drift completely. I end up stalling the car then, <laughs> and then of course I'm racing down now to the finish line. And I'm looking at the map and I'm looking at how close I'm thinking. Oh, am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Oh, and I'm here thinking. No, I'm not going to make it. And just barely make it. That was almost a photo finish. I think that was a very close race indeed. So I uh, get more money now. So I was quite happy now. I won a new car. I won the Mustang, which I was very happy with. Except, um... I wasn't... Oh, here's the, the game now. Tell me to race my friend. I, again, I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to get straight in the game. Uh, yeah, uh, they said I had a lot of new car, but I couldn't seem to find no way to uh, actually use it. Um, in free... I was looking... Um, you, you'll, actually, I'll, I'll explain about changing cars later on in the video. Um, excuse me, how's my phone uh, vibrating then? So just listen to the voice over here for this guy who wants me to meet him. And I thought, I'll have a look around the map here, see how big the map is. Um, I'm assuming that the dark here is the places that I haven't raced. Um, so what I want to do is get a sense of how big the map really is. So I thought, well, I just got to drive in the corner. I thought, let's, let's see how... Um, Let's see how long it takes me to get there. I thought the map looked, looked quite small, but I thought maybe it feels large in game. So I thought, right, let's go. So driving along now. It's also um, good to note that the um, the traffic on the road is are actually um, real life licensed cars, which I think is a, is a nice touch. Uh, most most racing games have the thing of just making their own fictional generic cars to pop on the road. So then, without intention, I managed to beat my friend's uh, uh, speed for the camera there. Almost crash into that uh, other driver. So I've done along now, still um, trying to 
get the sense of scale that the that the map has got uh, against the map. Uh, sorry, that 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 the, the world has got against the map that you view to get directions. I didn't explain that properly then. Um, yeah, I get a lot of near misses. Yeah, not intentionally getting near misses. I'm just basically only weaving when I need to. I don't want to lose control of my car. There's two other drivers there. And then I seen that the dollar symbol. I'm there already. I was thinking, right. No. Right. Bearing in mind how small the map looked and how long it took me to get this dollar sign, uh, there doesn't seem to be that much of a sense of um, largeness to the world. And of course, I completely missed the turn. So I thought, well, I'll turn around. And I shall see.